what does it take for a guard to play at the D1 level? Man, it, there's so many intangibles to that. It, it, le- leadership is huge, and I think leadership is underrated. Uh, I'm coaching two post or point guards right now on this little uh, EYBLC team I'm coaching, and um, like just their ability to communicate to the team, lead the team, talk, um, do all the intangibles, make the extra pass, be the toughest defender, look at coach, respond to coach, positive energy, take charges, deflections, dive on the loose balls. Um, there, there's so many winning plays that don't show up in a stat book that I, that I think guards need to understand to get themselves to stick out. Obviously, they didn't make open shots, but there, there's so many other things that coaches look at that do, do, do they get happy for their teammate just as much as they do when they're not scoring? Like Elliot Cadeau was a prime example of this. Like he gets more excited throwing a lob dunk to his teammate than he does knocking down a three. Um, are, are they unselfish? Do they make their teammates better? Like, do, do they study film? Like do, do they put extra reps in the gym? And are, are they bought in with the coach? And do they have the coaches back? Like, yeah, there's there's so many pieces to being a guard than than just dropping dimes and shooting threes. And so I think from the coaches I talk to, that's what they want to see is is how are they going to make our team better. 